Hey guys, what's up? So Lewis here and I'm bringing you guys this video because I'm tired, okay? I'm tired of all these bad audio videos, all right? And in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best way to edit your audio so it can sound smooth, clean, and not sound like this. There's been a couple of things that's been happening for my, in my channel and that is, holy, there's a bee in my car, guys. Look at this. There's a freak, oh my God. Hold up, guys. I got to open. I got to turn on the car. So... Hold up, I gotta, I gotta put on the, right there. All right, all right, it went out, it went out. Uh. So yeah guys, I'm gonna put it into all bad audio videos today. I don't wanna see any one, one, just one. I don't wanna see any more bad audio videos out there. And I'm gonna show you guys the formula, okay, on how to, to do it using Audacity, which is a free software, so there's no excuses. You just need a decent PC. If you guys don't have a PC, go to your school's library, all right? Tell them you have a YouTube channel or something, you're making a video, and just use that PC. I added my audio on Audacity, which is a free software, which I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you guys can go download it. And I'm gonna show you guys the best way, all right, how to make your audio sound smooth, clean, all right, so let me stop beating around the bush and let's get started. All right, go get some paper, a note card or something so you guys can write down these steps. All right, so step number one to making your audio the best ever, all right, and it's removing your background noise, all right? So the fans in the back, all right, static, all the stuff in the background, you guys are going to remove it. And to start this off, you guys are going to want to either open up your audio file by going to File, Open, and then choosing your audio. Or in my situation, you guys are going to record it here on Audacity, the raw audio. So just let me just record something random so you guys can hear the background noise and so I can show you guys how to remove that. All right, so let me just record something random here so you guys can take a listen. Lucky Lewis loves loving Lily. Just record something like that and then you guys, let's take a listen so we can hear the background noise. Lucky Lewis loves loving Lily. All right, so you guys can hear that static in the background is so irritating. It's like, shh, and you guys want to remove this. So how we're going to do this, let me just take a copy of this so then we can compare both of them at the end. All right, so I forgot to say this, but you guys want to leave at least five seconds in the beginning of a video so the microphone can pick up that background noise, that static. Or if you guys forget to do that in the beginning, you can leave five seconds at the end of the video so the background noise can pick up that static, that background noise, all right, throughout the video. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select with the selection tool. We're going to select the background noise so you guys can see right here. You're going to select that, go all the way to effect, all right, then go all the way to noise reduction. Then you guys are going to want to press get noise profile. So you press that. So now you guys are going to want to select the whole audio by going either like this or by double clicking it like that. And then you guys are going to go to effect, noise reduction, same place. And then here you guys don't even need to change any of these settings. All right. Or you could copy mine. You just press OK. And then you guys can see that the line is a lot thinner. So let's take a listen now. Lucky Lewis loves loving Lily. So you guys can see it's a major improvement, all right? There's no more static. There might be a little bit more. If there's still a little bit more background noise, which there probably will be a tiny bit, you guys can just redo the step by just selecting the, the area again, going to effect, noise reduction, get noise profile, then just basically redo the whole step one, all right? And let me just do it right now. All right, so after you guys redo step number one twice, let's just take a listen from the original uh, with the background noise compared to uh, the new one from step number one. So let's just take a listen right here. Lucky Lewis loves loving Lily. Lucky Lewis loves loving Lily. So you guys can see some big major difference. There's no more static in the background, all right? It's just clear, smooth. All you hear is your clear voice. And this is a big major improvement, probably the most important step. All right. So next step, guys, next step is step number two. You guys are basically going to compress the audio. All right. It's going to make it sound a lot louder and richer. Let me just put a copy here of, of our step number one. This one right here. Basically, you guys are going to want to select the whole audio again. In this case, I'm just going to select this part. Go to effect. Go all the way down to compressor, which is right here. Then you guys don't have to change anything. You can keep these settings or you could copy mine. And then you guys, let me, let me just show you guys here how it's going to look. Press OK. And you guys can see it gets a lot bigger. Let's just take a listen to it right now. Lucky Lewis loves loving Lily. So as you guys heard, it's just a lot richer. It's more uh, in your face. 
All right, so step number three, which is probably my favorite step because it makes your voice sound really smooth, nice, comfortable, and it makes it sound like you're in that person's room, all right? And it just gives a lot of presence to your voice. So basically, let me just do a copy here so we can compare this all at the end. So basically, you guys are gonna go right here, select your whole audio again, go to effect, all right, go all the way to equalization, click that. And what we're first gonna do is add the bass boost. And the bass really makes it sound smooth, so you guys go over here to select curve, go all the way to bass boost, and then you guys can see this curve right here. Um, you guys can actually preview it to see if you guys like it. This is the default, all right? But what I actually like to do is I like to bring it down all the way right here. It's almost halfway, and it just makes it sound really nice. You just go over here and press OK, and then you guys can see the difference in the audio waves, all right? But some of the things about having a lot of bass is sometimes it might sound boring or too monotone or sometimes it might sound like the voice is stuck in the box right so what we need to do this is add the tremble and to add the tremble you guys basically go to the same place select the audio again go to effect all right go to equalization the same place and then you guys are gonna go right here to select curve all right and then you guys go to tremble boost and it's gonna be right over here on the right side and then, like I said, you guys can preview it to see if you guys like how it sounds. What I like to do is I always bring it down right over here. It's almost the middle, right there. And then I press OK. And then you guys can see the difference in the audio waves. All right, so next step is step number four. We're basically going to normalize your voice, your audio. So you select the whole audio again. All right, then you guys go to Effect. Go to Normalize, which is right here. And then you guys can keep these settings. You guys don't have to change it or you could copy mine. And then you get press OK. And you guys can see it gets a little shorter and this makes it so your voice is not clipping and your audio waves aren't getting out of the frame so yeah guys that's basically the must do steps the last two steps are prefaces and optional basically if your voice if your audio is a little lower down there is a way to amplify the audio and you basically select the audio again go to effect go to amplify all right and then you can leave it at one leave it at one that's where they recommend it and then you just press ok and as you guys can see that the audio waves got a little bit bigger and it, the volume goes up a lot louder. So next uh, optional step is adding a pitch, all right? And basically changing the pitch, you can either make your voice a little deeper or make your voice a little squeaker. But most likely you guys are gonna want your voice to be a little deeper and you basically just select the audio again. All right, go to effect, change pitch, and you guys could go right here and basically going negative is your voice gets a lot deeper if you go too much negative your voice gets really deep like really deep if you go positive your voice is going to get really squeaky so what i recommend to do is go at least a uh, negative two all right because it won't make your voice sound totally different but it'll make it sound a little bit more deeper so you go to negative two around there and you press ok and it'll change all right guys so basically those were all the steps and here at the end we're going to actually compare from step one to two to three and then to four and five because we did four or five in the same uh wavelength over here so let's let's compare right here let me select them and we're going to take a listen to see the huge difference that uh audio editing makes lucky lewis loves loving lily 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 all right, so you guys can hear the major difference that audio editing has on your audio, all right? And it's a huge difference. I recommend all you guys to follow these steps. If you guys forget how to do these steps, like I said, write them down on a note card or something so you guys don't forget. Or you guys can always come back to my video and watch it or go to the description and see the steps. So yeah, I hope to have you guys out. I hope to not see any more bad audio videos out there. If you guys don't have a PC, all right, go to your school's library somewhere, okay? Just tell the teacher you have a YouTube channel, you're gonna edit your video and stuff like that. All right, and just edit it there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We're almost at 3,000 subs. I would never imagine getting to this point. And I thank all of you guys for watching, for being subs and active and everything. And I love all you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.